What's up everybody, welcome back to the vlog. So today we are pulling out my old transmission and we were going to try and put my new one in but I can't find my adapter plate because I got it like eight months ago. I don't know if I left it at an old friend's house or if it's somewhere in my garage because obviously this place is not as clean as it should be. So today I think we're just pulling the old trans out and then I can get the rest of the car prepped like pulling the dash out and all that for some upcoming stuff that you guys don't necessarily know about yet. But it'll just give me a better idea of where I can put everything. Maybe I can take a few measurements and uh, maybe put the new clutch in today. Also my dad is back to help me. You guys really liked when he was in my last <laughs> video. Um, but we are starting off by taking the exhaust off and then the shifter is already taken off up top. So then now we just have to obviously take the trans mount and then the bell housing bolts and then it should all slide out. This thing is kind of a bitch to get out so it's not gonna be the easiest thing. Oh, also drive shaft, forgot about that. So you might recall last time we were pulling the transmission out of the FC, I forgot to drain the transmission fluid. So I would have forgot again, but my dad remembered this time because he's the one that got soaked. I'll put that clip in right now. Oh no. Uh oh, you gotta get that wiring on. So that little bit of metal dust as usual is like average normal wire. That's right? normal gear mesh, me gears meshing together. You will get little tiny, um, you just shouldn't see any chunks in there. So that looks all good. So if anybody <laughs> wants to buy my transmission, it is good to go and it actually comes with a spare third gear, so hit me up. Soon enough, there will be a transmission sitting here. I haven't showed you guys, but this is my new transmission. So thank you so much to G-Force Transmissions. I'm gonna put their Instagram right here. They have helped me out a lot by setting me up with the best dog box on the market. The drive shaft is now out of the car and now we are pulling off the trans mount, making sure everything moves, nothing's attached anymore and then we should be good to pull this trans out. All right, we're taking off the uh, transmission mount so that we could let the uh, transmission hang down. Get a little better access so we can remove it. And then we're gonna leave the bell housing on, right? And then yeah. pull the trans out because yeah. The way that my transmission works is it has a floating input shaft, that's what yep, you call it. exactly. And so the input shaft can pull in and out of the transmission. And so trying to pull it off with the bell housing, with all, pulling the whole trans back and all of it, I mean, I don't know, it's hard to explain, but we've done it multiple ways. And the easiest way was with the bell housing on the trans, or on the back of the motor, and then pulling the transmission off. So that's what we're gonna do this time. And right after this bolt, Noah's gonna Sweet. have to put the camera down and help me out. <laughs> But like I said guys, this is really cool because we've maybe put like a solid 15, 20 minutes of effort into this besides like kind of messing around for the past 45 minutes and it is coming out way faster. So I'm gonna set this down now, we're gonna get this trans out and then inspect my old clutch, see how everything is. I do have a brand new one and this one's been in there for a year and a half now. So shout out to Action if you guys want a discount, I'm gonna have it on the screen right here just to help you guys out. It doesn't help me out, it's just for you to get a clutch at a better deal. taking the last bolt out for the uh, bell housing with the adapter. So we get to the clutch, change the clutch out. All right, there we go, action clutch, look at that. Throw out bearings, seen better days there. It's a little <laughs> noisy, but. I'm, I believe I have a brand new one fine. there. <laughs> oh, no way. But but it worked fine. Here, we, we try to use the smallest tool we can. <laughs> World's smallest screwdriver. I just wanna, yeah. just wanna show you guys that for a second. This is, um, if it'll focus. Some nice oh, hot some... spots, but man, looking it's pretty smooth. good for a drift car, Come that's for sure. Clutch kicks. Dang, that thing is glazed. It looks great though for a, for a drift car. So is this something you think that we can resurface with our little tool and reuse? Yeah. This is really smooth. Like you can see there's glazing, but you don't feel it being pitted or anything. It's dissipating the heat very, very yeah. well. 
this is the Iron Man clutch. It's, I believe it's a six puck and um, it's for the Turbo 2. So the reason for running the Turbo 2 clutch, which is an RX-7 FC, like this car right here, is because the bell housings are a little bit different on a FC and an FD, which has to do with the, uh, for a dog box, you have to have this style set up and the FC bell housing goes right up to a FD block on the back of the motor. So it's the same thing, but it's just a little bit different of a clutch disc. And then I use a FD flywheel, I believe. And then um, I have the GM splines, as you saw on that box over there, because the reason for doing that is when you have a dog box and you're at the track, if somehow something happened, uh, usually some people will have spared G-Force GSRs, like what I'm gonna put in my car. And most of the guys run V8s with drifting. So they all have V8 input shafts, not Mazda input shafts. So the reason for that is I can throw anyone that has a V8 dog box, I can put it in my car, no problem, no questions asked. And the only thing that changes are the little splines on the inside of the clutch. So when they're building it for you, you can request that. New pilot bearing. Nice little lanyard, keychain. This is the clutch alignment tool. And then this is a super nice heavy duty six puck clutch. Uh, like I said, this is the Iron Man one, so it's the race clutch. Also, it's SFI certified, all that stuff. And then the good old Iron Man colors. If you if you guys have ever seen any of the Iron Man movies, obviously gold and red are the colors, but this thing just looks absolutely beautiful. You can tell it's super heavy duty and it's definitely gonna get the job done and last in my car for a long time. As you guys saw in my videos prior to this and everyone complained about it, the trans came up here and the shifter was way up here, which is really ugly and it like cut into the dash and everything to have this custom trans tunnel. But the new shifter position is gonna be all the way back here where this line is. And then you can see how high it is. And it's probably, I think it's about five inches lower on my new trans. So literally the shifter will mount here instead of way up here. So my actual handle will be here in like pretty much stock location. But I'm gonna cut off some of these zip ties right now, pull this back cover off. Like this whole dash is literally barely on there. And then uh, just kind of see how easy it's gonna be to pull this dash out. The more I look at this car, the more I realize how much it's gonna take to cut this cage out. So I'm telling you guys right now, starting tomorrow, I'm pulling the seats out, the firewall, like everything out of the interior of the car. I have to cut the whole cage out, take the windshield off, grind down the plates. It's gonna be a lot of work, but I have to get it done within like three days because the car has to be caged in the next couple weeks so I can make it to Winter Jam. So I'm still gonna have to paint the cage, reassemble everything. I still have to get my transmission in. It's just a lot of little things that are gonna take time. So I'm going to start on it as soon as possible. I should have done this like a while ago, but I was just waiting for my dad to have time to come and help me pull the trans out because obviously my arm's messed up. And update on that, we don't know where the grinder wheel is to, found it. you found it? Yep. Oh, well, I guess you just found the grinder wheel to resurface the flywheel, so we'll do that and throw the clutch in really fast. But I can't find my adapter plate, so before we can put that trans in, I need to figure out where that adapter plate went, and worst case scenario, I have to spend an extra $400 and get a new one. I'm so mad. I literally have hit this clutch pedal two times now. So now, now we have to re-bleed the clutch. That's like the one, that's the one thing my dad gets so mad about because we pulled my trans out a couple times and other people have hit the clutch in and he gets so pissed about it. And I literally, it's, I don't know why, but it's force of habit to always push the clutch in. So it's like my foot kind of wanders and I go to set it on the clutch pedal and it's the slightest pressure and just boom to the floor. This is what all of the wiring behind my dash looks like. Obviously this, I'm just gonna kind of keep it here. It's uh, just plugged in maybe, actually I'll probably unplug it and take it off and then this is my switch panel. I want to upgrade this, but it costs money. So we'll see if I can come up with the extra couple hundred dollars. Um, those are all my fuses and stuff. The ECU is gonna have to come off and I'm gonna probably take that out so nothing happens to it. And this is really coming apart faster than I thought. 
but this trans tunnel, as you can see, is literally massive. So like I was saying, this whole part is gonna drop down like all the way down to here because you can kind of see in there that it's all cut out way down there. So now, as you guys can see, there is a massive hole in my trans tunnel, um, but the shifter location should be right around here in like more of a stock location. So that's gonna be super nice. And then um, I don't think this trans tunnel was stretched out at all. It was just cut open completely. So it should, shouldn't be too big of a deal to put a new trans tunnel plate over this. Um, and you'd take all of this stupid stuff out and those seats, but we're getting close to having to wrap up the day because I have to go to Alessio's wedding, but I know we do want to resurface that flywheel potentially. So maybe we'll do that really quick and then, uh, and then call it you a day. You can mount the clutch too. Yeah, yeah. and put that clutch put, in. Put the clutch on. Shouldn't be too big of a deal. So maybe we'll do that really fast. I'm gonna kind of move around some of these wires, make sure nothing gets messed up and then we'll throw the car back up in the air. The car is really pulling apart a lot faster than I thought. I've never taken the dash out of my car before, and it was hold on, held on by zip ties, which some people might not like, but the whole point of a race car is to be able to pull it apart and put it back together as fast as possible. And so if you have every single stock nut and bolt, it's gonna take you two hours to pull that thing apart. So the car is coming apart very fast. Uh, my dad has all these special tricks that I really, really like, and it's super cool. But after this compressor shuts off because it's super annoying, I'll show you guys exactly what we're going to do again just in case you didn't see how we did it on the FC. So what we're going to do now is just double check that this clutch spline is the exact same for the input shaft spline on that. So we're gonna pull the transmission out just enough to be able to slide this on and make sure that we're all good to put the new clutch on the back of the motor. clutch is inside the car now or on the back of the motor obviously and it looks so beautiful I seriously love the gold and red like I was telling you guys about this is the Iron Man setup like I said again it's a very good race application for an affordable price so like you saw I don't run a twin disc on my car it's literally just a six putt clutch and I have over 500 horsepower and I'm clutch kicking all the time as you guys know rotaries do not have a lot of torque so if you want to get a clutch that is a good clutch to get and it is definitely affordable compared to going and getting some twin disc thank you guys again for watching if you haven't already please like and subscribe um, I'm gonna be doing a lot more work to the FC coming up soon if there's anything specific that you guys want to see then make sure you leave it down in the comments below and I'll see you guys in the next one Thank <laughs> you.